Hello, and welcome to this short introduction to referencing books and book chapters using the APA referencing style. This video will show you how to determine if you need to reference a book as a whole or as a chapter, and the format required for each reference. When you are referencing a book, the first task is to determine if you need to reference the book as a whole or the individual chapter. The easiest way to do this is to determine if each chapter has its own author or authors. In these examples, the first book, Reference and Information Services, an introduction, has two authors, Cassell and Hearmouth. They are the authors of the entire book. So if you use one or more chapters, you only require one reference for the whole book. The second example, Process Management, a guide for the design of business processes, is an edited book. Becker, Kugler and Roseman are the editors and each chapter has a different author or authors. You need a separate reference for each chapter you use. When you reference a book with authors, you need the following information. The author or authors, the date of publication, the title and subtitle of the book, the edition number, unless it is a first edition, the place of publication and the name of the publisher. Once you have all the information you need, you put it together in the correct APA format as shown here. Start with the author or author's surnames followed by their first initial, never their full name, then the year of publication in brackets. The title of the book is in italics and sentence case. Sentence case means you write it as you would a sentence, only capitalising the first word in the title and subtitle and any proper nouns or acronyms. Include the edition in brackets, unless it is the first edition. Then place the place of publication and publisher. Be aware that APA has different rules depending if a book was published in the USA or in another country. If a book was published in the US, you list the city name and the two letter state abbreviation. You can find this information with a quick Google search. If the book was published in another country, list the city name and the country of publication. When referencing an ebook, the format is the same. Only instead of the publisher details, you include the format and URL or DOI of the ebook. Here is an example of a book reference as it would appear in a reference list. Note that there is a capital after the colon for the subtitle. This is the third edition of this text. As you can see, we have not written the edition information as it appears on the book, but have used the standard APA format, the number as a numeral, and the abbreviation ED with a lowercase e followed by a full stop. As this book was published outside of the USA, the city and country is used. Now we'll move on to referencing a book with editors. That is, a book where each chapter has its own author or authors. When you reference a book with editors, you need the following information. The author or authors of the chapter, the date of publication of the book, the title and subtitle of the chapter, the names of the editors of the book, the title and subtitle of the book, the edition number, the page numbers of the chapter, the place of publication, and the name of the publisher. If you use more than one chapter from an edited book, you must reference each chapter separately. Once you have all of the information, you need to put it together in the correct APA format, as shown here. Similar rules apply as when referencing a book, with additional information required. The author or authors of the chapter, the year of publication of the book in brackets, followed by the title of the chapter. Now we add the book information. First write the word in, I-N, then the editor's names, and the title of the book in sentence case and in italics. Add the edition if needed and the page range of the chapter you are referencing. Put both the edition and page numbers in the same set of brackets separated by a comma. 
then the place of publication followed by the name of the publisher. As with a book reference, when referencing an ebook chapter, the format is the same, only instead of the publisher details, you enter the format and URL or DOI of the ebook. Here is an example of a chapter reference as it would appear in a reference list. For the author names, the first initial goes after the surname, but for editors, it comes before the surname. After the editor's names, you write the abbreviation ED or EDS for editors in brackets. Use a capital E as you are referring to people. The chapter title is not in italics, but the book title is in italics. Both are in sentence case. If you are including the edition, it goes in the same set of brackets as the page numbers. As this book was published in the US, we have used the city followed by the state abbreviation. Let's recap what we have covered. The key points to consider when you are referencing from a book are, do you need to reference the whole book or each chapter on its own? To decide this, check if the chapter has its own author or authors. If yes, then each chapter must be referenced separately. If not, then you reference the whole book once. If you need help with referencing, consult the APA Referencing Guide. For further assistance, please contact the library.